You can download the art seen in the video for free, link in the description. For a custom splash screen, go to Project, Project Settings, select Boot Splash, enable Advanced Settings. From here, we can edit the default Godot splash screen that plays before our game starts. The background color will change the background of the splash screen, which in our case doesn't matter as I'm not using a transparent image. Show image will show the set image. Full size will scale the image up so it fits the window. We will disable use filter as we're using pixel art. That way our art doesn't look blurry. I will then set the image to the completed splash screen that you can download, link in the description for free. Next, I will set the minimum display time to a thousand, which is one second. We set this as to ensure the splash screen gets enough time for the player to read its contents, but not too much time that they get bored. Now if you want to animate this splash screen, create a new 2D scene. I will add a background sprite and set it to the background PNG and scale it up. Keep in mind that you can alternatively use a color rack node or rely on the default environment background color. I will then add a node 2D and rename it to logo. Next, I will add two sprites as its children. The first one, I'll set its texture to the Godot symbol. The second one, I'll set its texture to the Godot text. I will then set the symbol's position to 570 by 248 and change its scale to 4 by 4. As for the text, I'll set its position 576 by 402. I will also set its scale to 4 by 4. Then to remove the blurriness, go to logo and change its texture to nearest. I will then add an animation player to the scene. I'll create a new animation called fade out. I'll then enable apply snapping on the timeline cursor. Then set the snap to 0.1 seconds. This will make the playhead snap by 0.1 every time we move it. I'll then go to the logo 2D node, go to its visibility and keyframe its modulate. Move the playhead to the end, go to modulate and change it to be fully transparent and keyframe it. To avoid some jittering that can occur, I'll go to 0.2, select the first keyframe and hit Ctrl or Command plus D to duplicate it. I'll then hold left click and select the first two keyframes. From here, I'll right click on easing and set it to ease out. Then on the final keyframe, I'll select it and set the easing to ease in. I'll then enable autoplay on start so that way the animation runs as soon as the scene is loaded. I'll then save the scene and select the root node and add a script. Select the animation player node, go to node, signals, double click on animation finished and connect it. Because we only have one animation, we don't need to check what animation is finished using the anim name variable. So we can put an underscore before it, which cancels out the anim name built in variable. We can then load our game's first scene. For most people, this will be a main menu, but for me in this case, I'm just using my basic game scene. Now to make this animated custom boot splash scene run as soon as the game loads, go to project, project settings, select run. And here where it says main scene, select the folder icon and select the node 2D scene. When you set stuff inside of the project settings, it may take a few saves before it actually activates when you run the game. Keep in mind that because we have set the main scene, this custom animation will only run either when the game has been exported and you open up the application or when you use this play button, which can also be accessed with F5.